Welcome to the podcast that has earned recognition in 2019 and again in 2020 as one of the best podcasts in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, and we would like and hope you will join us in lending your support to our video series, which you can do by going to RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Lederer, for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. Dom Nicastro is a senior reporter at Simpler Media Group, and he blogged recently about the MarTech 2030 report from chief marketing technologist blogger Scott Brinker and WPP global head of product management Jason Baldwin. Their subject, marketing's biggest upcoming data challenges. Castro stated that marketing has no piping or storage for the oceans of data that it is holding, nor is there a viable, proven course to ensure data freshness, provenance, legal permissions, exclusivity, distillation, and activation of data. In short, Brinker sees no lack of data, but there certainly is a lack of good marketing data. The Brinker and Baldwin report, which, by the way, we're hoping to link to, shows that many organizations, 44% to be precise, never activate the data they capture, and 43% of corporate-generated data goes unused. The report also states that distillation and activation of data, which simply allows data to be put to use, quote, is where the magic exists that marketers must make happen. Unlocking of data is a challenge, the report says, because data is so fragmented, and yet there are reasoned opportunities for customer teams to unify data if it becomes a central focus. Another crucial angle with regard to marketing data came from Christopher Penn in this blog. He's the co-founder and chief data scientist for Trust Insights. Penn puts people and processes uppermost in his thoughts when it comes to data activation and distillation. It starts with the reality that sharing of data, unfortunately, doesn't seamlessly happen. In other words, there are recognized but damaging silos that must be broken down. Making matters worse, there are chasms that need to be filled. For instance, we have to find a way to get customer data insight and analysis in operation along with data analysis and reporting, and data and database management. Now, these may be going on in some companies in some uh, different ways, but not all of them all at once. Next on Penn's list of concerns is data fluency from marketers, and that requires training, talent development, and hiring marketers who have the right data skills. Now, let's be truthful here. Those tend to be overlooked in 21st century marketing because of the pace at which it moves. Finally, Susan Souter was quoted. She's the CMO of Customer Times. She believes companies must take the potential of big data and big operations, or big ops as she called it, way more seriously. And she's talking about implementation of a practical roadmap that can create a continuous improvement cycle for data for marketers, and it's all in the interest of leveraging every morsel of customer data that is out there. Now, you got to admit, there's an awful lot here to digest, and you also have to wonder how soon any marketer which faces most of these problems can hope to overcome them. That wraps up today's Research Business Daily Report. The editorial goal of every RBDR is to present news insights and commentary you won't find anywhere else. And we've got no doubt that if you find that to be the case by checking in with RBDR regularly, our hope is that you'll also want to express your appreciation for the work we do. And Susan Fader recently became the latest person to express that to us with a contribution to Patreon. And you can do the same by visiting patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Please join us again tomorrow. And in these dangerous times, I really feel that I have to exhort all of you every day to please find a way to stay safe.